walking into the gym in, in the summertime and say, okay, this is a Sweet 16 team, did you see the writing on the wall that the talent was there to do something like this? Yeah, me, Zach, and Derek, um, I remember we always used to talk about it. Um, just like an open gym, we just seeing how much time we had. Um, we're dangerous in all areas as far as scoring the ball. It's just a matter of our defense, and that's coming along. So, um, like I, like everybody keeps saying, if we play both sides of the ball really well, like we have been, we're extremely dangerous. Is it a final four team? <clears throat> I mean, we can beat anybody, so um, I think so. DJ, the transition offense has improved a lot. How much of that is you know, the bigs like you running harder down the floor, or is it more I think the banners pushing it? No, I think it's both. Uh, coach always talks with me about outletting the ball as fast as possible um, or bringing it up myself. Um, if they're taking away Derek or Zach or Muhammad. So um, I, when I get the uh, rebound, I just look up the floor and try to find my guard as fast as possible. Uh, DJ, you're going to be going up with Chris Boucher out. You're going to be going up probably against Dylan Brooks at the floor. Um, that's a little bit different matchup because you've got the size on him, but obviously he's a good shooter, good passer. How ready are you for that matchup, and what do you think of it? I'm ready. Um, I haven't looked too much into it um, as far as what he does well. Um, today's going to be a big day for that. Um, so, I don't know. We'll practice. I know Charles is probably going to play him on the scout team. Um, and I go against Charles all the time um, in practice. So, it's not new, uh, new to me. I'm used to it. And know any of these guys? Know any of the Oregon players? Yeah. Uh, no. Nah. I'm familiar with some of them, but I don't know. Close with them. Yeah, uh, close. The, uh, the enthusiasm, the attitude that, that Coach Beeline's maintained, I guess, or created in the last couple weeks, maybe after the crash through the Big Ten tournament. Yeah. Have you seen him in this type of light, the way he's been acting, the way he's been? No, nah, never. I've never seen him be this happy before. Um, and maybe it's just because past couple of years here and we haven't been winning like we are right now. So um, winning has a lot to do with it. Um, so hopefully we can keep winning because I like a happy coach. You talked about not being nervous at the free throw line at the end of that game. Where does that come from, that calm in that situation? Uh, I think it's just, I don't know, my, my confidence level, just all the work. Uh, I'm confident in all the work that I put in um, up to that point. Uh, my guys have confidence in me. So... I don't know. Um, I feel like I, I lack confidence or I go up there nervous and it's just uh, it's not going to work out the way I want it to. So I try to put all that to a side and just focus on um, just shooting the basketball.